For those of you who have class with me this uh, semester, we're going to be using RemNote, and I want to spend a few minutes talking about how to get up and running, how to sign in, how to create an account, and what you can expect the first time that you get into RemNote. So the first thing you need to do is to create an account, and I'll include uh, where I upload this video, I'll include some screenshots of what that'll look like, but basically you have three options. You can sign in using your Google account, you can sign in using your Apple account, or you can create your own uh, email or use your own email and create your own password if you want to sign in and create an account directly uh, within RemNote. So the first time that you enter RimNote, you should see a screen something like this. This is a, a clean or a, a first time uh, entering into RimNote with no notes. And uh, on the right hand side of your screen, you're likely to see this interactive tour. So I would suggest taking a look and going through some of these steps. There are a lot of videos online also that talk about how to use RimNote. And we're certainly going to be talking about how to use it for the purposes of our class. But this is what you can expect the first time that you get into RimNote. So here in the middle of your screen, you will have your notes and these are different categories. This is a all notes category and you'll notice here that you can view your notes, folders, top level RIM, PDFs, daily docs. So I'm not going to go into a deep dive into RimNote, but basically in general terms, this is where you can find your notes. And on the left hand side as you create documents or rem they refer to notes within rem note as rem and uh, you can create a rem document that can appear here on the left hand side but basically this is what it will look like now if you're taking a class with me we're going to be using the virtual classroom or a moodle website and a lot of the rem that we're going to be using will be accessible via the virtual classroom in the form of a URL that it, like as it appears here. So this is an example of uh, teaching workshop two. I'll usually include some kind of notes so that it's a, uh, you can expect a, uh, to open up in your browser the, uh, the REM note page. So in this case, if I were to open this up, this will take me directly to the REM. Now you notice that we are in what's referred to as a RemNote community, and this is a public page. Anyone with this link can access this Rem, and this is what it will look like. And when you open up this Rem, you will not only be able to see the content, and it's taking a little bit longer, here we go. You'll not only see the content of the page, but also you'll have an option to save to your notes. And I think this is where a lot of the value of creating an account in RemNote, uh, this will be available to you, that any of the notes that I'm sharing or creating for the purposes of our class, you'll have an option always to save it to your own notes and then modify those notes, add to it, make comments, uh, maybe post questions for yourself if uh, what I'm sharing in RemNote uh, is helpful to you, you'll have an option to save it to your own personal account. Uh, you'll notice here at the top you'll have a title. You'll have a link to my profile in RemNote, which will have access to other documents that I have uh, shared publicly. Typically there'll be some kind of keywords or tags that appear here, and like I mentioned before, you'll have an option to save to your notes. You'll scroll down and you'll see in this case the content that relates to uh, this course, Teaching Workshop 2. Now, let's say you want to save this information to your own notes. You click Save to Notes, and you'll have basically two options. You have, since there are no other RIM available, uh, you can uh, add a or create a RIM. Let's say that you want to create a, let's say, a document or a RIM that is for this course, Teaching Workshop 2. And if the search doesn't find another REM that already exists with this name, you're going to have an option to create a REM. So imagine if you had already set up various REM, you would have some results here towards the bottom where you could indicate 
a rem that was already created. <clears throat> but in this case, since we're starting from scratch, uh, we either have an option to create a rem called Teaching Workshop 2, or if you want to uh, add it to your notes but have no parent associated with that, that is, it's called a top-level rem, so it doesn't really fall into any categories. You also have that option. You can select here. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select or create a rem called Teaching Workshop 2. So I'll select that, <clears throat> and I'm going to go back now to my account. So you can go back. Remember that you're still in the community, the Remno community. And so to get back to your own page, you click here back home, and notice now you have, you have some notes that appear here. Now, without getting too, in too much detail, you'll notice, you may ask yourself, well, why are there two different notes when I just created one note? Well, the first is the note itself. If I click here, this will take me to the same content that I shared with you. And uh, again, you'll have an option to modify this, add to it as you wish. And uh, this is not synced. This is just your own version of what I shared publicly. All right, so this is important to keep in mind because if it's a, a page or a note that I am updating continually, then obviously you won't have the updated version in your own particular notes. Okay, so again, the use case here is bring over information that you find useful, modify it as you want, and just remember that it's not a, a sync between your notes and, and my notes. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, why are there two different links here? And you'll notice that this other rem is a tag. All right, so this is a tag or a category, and the way tags work in rem is a tag is a rem. So a rem can be a tag, a rem can be a document, a rem can be just a note that's not a document. Anything that that is entered basically into rem note is referred to as a as a rem right so in this case this is why the, there's a tag here as a separate rem and then the document itself and so that that's where that comes from okay so here once you open up this document you have and i'm going to go ahead and uh, close this interactive tour. Again, I would recommend that you go through here, take a look. There's a, a flashcard feature, a very robust flashcard feature that you might find useful. We're not going to get into it today, but we certainly will be talking about flashcards and this feature within RimNote to see if this is something that you find useful. But we'll go ahead and close this for now. And once you're in your within your own document, you also have an option to share your version of this rem. And if you click on the ellipsis here, you have different options. And again, you can convert some of this to flashcards. Um, you can pin or not pin this document. So this particular rem, you'll notice by default is pinned right so it's starred and that makes it available over here on the left hand side under pinned so by default you have three categories pinned unpinned and uh, basically a done feature here so if i were to deselect this notice it disappears on the left hand side Okay, now it still appears here under uh, Teaching Workshop because this is a, a tag that is set up. But if you want to pin this and create these categories, uh, you can do that. So that you can manipulate through pinned or you can navigate from pinned rims and unpinned rims. Okay, again, I don't want to get too much into uh, the weeds here just getting started. The main thing is to create your account find uh, different notes that I'm sharing with you from the virtual classroom, the Moodle website that we're going to be using throughout the semester. And then, as you wish, you can save notes or not, depending on what you want to do with the notes. Again, make sure that if there are notes that are likely to be updated. So each week, actually, I'm going to be creating a journal 
of basically of activities, things that I'm planning for the class, things that we discuss and work on in our classes. Everything's going to be in the uh, RIM or the RIM Note platform. So I'm going to be uploading or sharing with you in the Moodle platform each week. Each module will have a link to everything that we discuss and work on each day. So this is going to be constantly changing as we're working throughout that particular week. So in those cases, just make sure that if you are sharing notes, know that it's not going to sync automatically, that you're going to need to continue to go back to the link that I'm sharing with you here. And just remember to share documents that you think have, maybe they have some information that you want to keep and add to or make comments to yourself for follow-up, um, either questions or follow-up uh, study uh, study uh, aspects that you need to uh, adhere to for that particular uh, REM. Okay, so basically this is REM note and on the left hand side again you have all notes. If you are wanting to keep a journal each day you can do that also by clicking today's notes. There's a calendar here and it will default to the uh, current day and you can make you know make comments every time that you add any kind of notes to yourself, you're creating a rim. So notice every time I hit enter, it creates another line with another bullet point. So these are referred to as rim, and you can create a document as a rim automatically. Example. Okay, and uh, this is a separate page now. This is a different rim. You can create what's called portals. So I just created a rim, but now this is a portal. And so anything that I share in the example, if I open up the example page, give it a second here. See if I can open up side by side. So notice here, because this is a portal, okay, it's acting a little funny. Let me try it again. All right, so this is a portal, so we'll expand this. If I click text here in the rem called example, it's gonna appear here in uh, the in the portal. This is called the portal because it's basically embedded. It's embedding this rim into another rim. And so this might be another type of use case if you want to embed rim into others. This is called the portal. These are called references whenever you create like a link to another rim. Uh, this is called a reference. And I think we'll stop there. So we have references and we have portals and we have tags and you can add a tag to any document up here and create an example tag, create a rem. Remember tags and portals and references are all considered rem. Each bullet point is considered a rem, okay, for the purposes of working within this platform. And by using tags and and portals and references. These are the main three ways of using different types of RIM to organize your ideas, okay? And we'll explore flashcards, which is a whole nother topic, but a very important one within RimNote that you'll find useful whenever you come start learning new words and concepts and you wanna start setting up definitions and start referencing certain concepts and, and descriptions of what those concepts mean to you. Uh, there is a very robust flashcard feature that allows you to review those across anything that you create in RemNote. Okay, so again, a lot of videos online. We'll talk about it throughout the semester as we get into it. But again, just wanted to create a very short video on how you can get set up, signed in, create your own account, and start sharing or saving these notes to your own account. The only way to save a note to your account is by having 
a uh, having set up your own your own account. All right, if you don't have a account set up in RemNote, it's not possible to sh uh, save the note to your account because you don't have an account. So uh, that is going to be a requirement in order to save notes. If for any reason you just are against saving notes of any kind, you'll still be able to access all of the information that I'm sharing with you in the virtual classroom to these public rims that I'm, I'm sharing with uh, everyone and that I'll continue to do throughout the semester. All of the links to the rims that I'm sharing will be available throughout the entire semester. Okay, so for any reason you're, you, don't, uh, you don't want to save a note to your own account, you'll have access to that rim th throughout the entire semester. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and stop there. If you do have any questions, of course, make sure you're reaching out to me, especially at the beginning. If this is new to you, make sure that you're getting the assistance that you need in order to uh, get into RimNote for the first time, set up your account, and start working with different uh, ways of sharing your notes and creating your own notes for the purposes of not only our class, but hopefully you'll see some value in creating RimNote, uh, an account in RimNote, and uh, applying it to all of your classes that you have here at the university.